everyone, Charles Calloway here. Get better with your money. That's what our group is here. And here we are, Friday morning. Uh, well, we were going to do it at noon, but we I had Lori here, so I figured let's just jump on right now. And and I don't know if you guys ever met my beautiful bride. This is Lori Calloway. She's the secret sauce. Um, and she, frankly, people sometimes ask me, Charles, how how are you at doing all this budget stuff and everything? And I always tell them, you know, well, um, I always tell them that uh, the only reason I'm on track financially is because of, of you, Lori. So, guys, meet my meet Lori. Good morning. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> All right. So today we're going to, you know, in our we, we want to talk about this week we've been talking about, we've been posting about keeping up with the Joneses. Um, is there a better way, you know? And uh, I was asking you this morning, I thought maybe you'd jump on and have this conversation with us, Lori. Uh, is, it, is it bad to want to keep up with the Joneses? So if we're speaking financially, <laughs> it can be bad to want to keep up with the Joneses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, Okay, so let me, let me make this a little harder for you, okay? Okay. You walk into the gym. You know, we've always had this moment. You walk into the gym and there's this person over there, they've been working out for a while. And, and man, they start working out, and and you're you're getting inspired to work out too, because you just see them working. They're into it. You're in the zone, you know. And so you want to get in the zone. Before you came to the gym, you didn't feel like working out. Now all of a sudden, I feel like working out. You ever been there? Yes. Well, why is that any different? I'm keeping up with the Joneses. Well, there's a lot of different factors that are happening in the background mm -hmm. that we do not see. Okay. We don't know what their medical health is. Okay. We don't know how long they've been working out. Okay. There's just a lot of things that we don't know. Okay. So financially speaking, mm -hmm. to want to keep up with the Joneses and to try to keep up with the Joneses, we don't know what their background is. Mm -hmm. We don't know what their financial situation is. Um, the only one that we know the true facts are is our own. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I remember uh, you bring to mind a story. I don't know if you remember me telling you this before, but I was in high school. Wasn't that long ago? Not at all. And one of my good friends, we studied like all weekend for this test. It was a humanities test. I'll never forget it. And so we walk into the into where we're going to take the test, and we sat next to each other. Of course, we have to have spacing because they don't want people cheating on each other, off of each other. Mm -hmm. And so they passed out the test. And I don't know if you remember this, but they would have a stack, and they said, take the top test and pass it to your right. Take the top test, pass it to the right. Mm -hmm. And so I'm sitting here. I'm taking my test. And I'm, 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 I'm blowing through this thing, you know, I'm like, this is easy. But I hear my, my buddy to my right, he's like groaning. I mean, he's like, oh, oh, like this test is so hard. I'm like, what's wrong with him? I mean, we studied together. Why are you so dumb? What's your big deal? What's the big deal, right? I get to the end of my test, Lori, on the back, on, at the very end, after the taking the last question, it says, once you're done with part one, turn in the test, come up front, turn it in, and get pick up the booklet for tests. But for two, Ooh. <laughs> so I go down, I get the test book, I come in, I sit down, I open up, I see the first question, and I'm like, <laughs> I know what was happening. So therein lies the problem with keeping up with the Joneses. You don't know what test question your neighbor's on. Right. The test question they're on may be totally different than your test question. It may be, might be your time to drive the Mercedes Benz yet. It may not be time for you to get that next home yet. But it may not be time for them to drive that Mercedes Benz yet <laughs> yes. either. But we don't know. Yeah. That's the reality. Well, you know, some, sometimes, you know, one of the things you get, the, I get the impression sometimes we feel a pressure to want to appear successful without truly being successful. Does that make sense? You know, and uh, that can that can really end up in a bad situation. I mean, we all hear stories of people they get to they get to a certain age in life, and they can't work as hard as they used to, and they're now living in a house that may be paid off, but it's in a neighborhood that's eroding around them. They can't really afford to do anything different because mm -hmm. they're now on a fixed income. What a tragedy! Right. Now, I wonder how many people ended up there because they were trying to keep up with the Joneses. So that's enough about the problem. How do we go about avoiding that? You know, and I guess if we're going to put it in a sentence or how would you describe it? Lori? I know what I would say, but tell me what, 
if you were talking to one of our daughters and you said, listen, don't make my mistake. Don't make the mistake your dad and I made in different, different periods in our life. Do this so you're not, not to avoid, to avoid keeping right. with Joseph. Well, I think the main thing that I've told them is that, you know, you really don't know what someone else's situation is. The only mm -hmm. situation you know mm -hmm. is your own or you and your spouse's situation. Right. So you know exactly where you're at. You know exactly what point A is. Mm -hmm. Now, you might have an idea of what point B is, mm -hmm. and you might have your dreams and goals and all the things that you want to do mm -hmm. along the way. But knowing your point A, how are you going to get to point B? Right, right. You know, who is who are you going to have help you? Right. And show you that mm -hmm. with consistent effort, right, over a consistent amount of time, right, that you can reach those goals and dreams, and help you distill that down to what you need to be doing on a monthly basis, or weekly mm -hmm. basis, or daily basis. Mm -hmm. And once you have that focus, whatever the reality or whatever the picture of success that the Joneses have, right doesn't matter. Their <laughs> picture of success could be living paycheck to paycheck as long as they have the things. Wow. But you need to know for yourself what your vision of success and that's how you don't get distracted by mm -hmm. trying to keep up with the gym. Yeah, I like that. That's some good points. And you know, when you said uh, know your point A, I'm not so I'm not as optimistic as you. I think most people walk around and they don't know where they are. They don't know their point A because they never take the time to do a good inventory of where they are financially. Mm -hmm. They're in denial because the thing is, is, is uh, it's almost like the feeling, I've been there, the feeling is if I don't look under the rug, the dust will just disappear, you know? Mm -hmm. And so I think it's important to take the time. And sometimes you need outside person that's not as involved in your life to say, mm -hmm. listen, let me help you do an inventory. Let's look at your budget. Let's look at, you know, let's look at where you are relative to where you should be if you want to hit the goal that you said is important to you, right? Mm -hmm. uh, when I was in, back in high school, again, I'm, I'm, I'm reminiscing on high school today. <laughs> so uh, I was a swimmer, right? Mm -hmm. And my coach, Coach Weller, used to say, Charles, you're doing this. Charles, you're doing this with your arm every time you, you swim through the water. I says, Coach, I'm not doing that. I was I, that attitude with the work, right? That's what I was thinking, right? Mm -hmm. And so he went under the water. There was a, we had this two-way glass that was under the water, if you could picture it. He set up a camera, not just for me, but all the other swimmers, and he, he, he put the film on. And so we're swimming up and down doing our workout. Later on, we're in the, in the locker room, and he, he put the film on. He said, let's take a look at this. And you know the thing I was doing? He would say I was doing my arm. Mm -hmm. is exactly what I was doing. Mm -hmm. So not, you know, it's, it's not hard to imagine, is it, to that we don't know where we are. So sometimes a third party helping you walk through an inventory to get clear as to where you are is mm -hmm. very, very helpful. But I love what you said also about knowing what you want because what's success for you and your goals may be totally different than your next door neighbor or the people that you know. Case in point, uh -huh. we had someone who worked with us part-time years ago uh -huh. who just wanted to Get a little bit better with mm, his money. I know what you're talking about. Okay. You want to get a little bit better with his money mm -hmm. and work towards that. Worked a little bit, saved a little bit, mm -hmm. did some home projects, other things that were important to them. Mm -hmm. Did the right things with his money over a period of time, consistently, and investing a consistent amount of money to the point where last month he was able to just retire. And now he and his family are going to serve in a nonprofit capacity because they mm -hmm. did all the they did the things that they needed to mm -hmm. do with their money mm -hmm. over a certain period of time didn't worry about keeping up with anyone except their own goals right. and dreams and they've achieved it yeah. and you it's know, exciting the, one of the, the young man you're thinking about and I, mm -hmm. I, I love that because one of the things about him is that all he did he he competed with who he was the previous year, like yeah. the previous month. Mm -hmm. He didn't try to compete with the person to his left and his right. Right. It's okay to get inspiration like mm -hmm. that, but just understand you're, you're not going to know someone else's life like you know your own right. if you're paying attention. And mm -hmm. progress truly is that. It, it brings a fulfillment that's 
unlike any other, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, so anyway, so keeping up with the Joneses, I, I hope, guys, this has helped a little bit. The whole idea of this, this group is about getting better with your money. And sometimes when I say that, I still feel funny because I know there are people in this group that are doing really well financially, okay? Uh, so why would you say get better with – well, life is like that, isn't it? You always want to try to get better. Improvement, it just feels that's, – that's, there's a, a special fulfillment that comes from trying to improve. So this group is about getting better with, getting better with your money. Uh, I mean, why not? It's an ongoing process. We're always trying to improve, trying to innovate and do better things. And that's what this is all about, to share different ideas. What do you think, Lori? Agree. All right. I'm so glad you joined me. This is more fun. Me too. Once you hear it, instead of just doing it all by myself on Friday. <laughs> that's right. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> so, so, guys, you may notice where things are being posted and all these little creative little things. That's Lori. Okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm, not, that, I'm not that creative, uh, but she is the creative uh, side of this, this little partnership we got going here. So, all right. Guys, thanks so much. We'll see you next week, okay? Bye.